We are going to revise the topic on self, the basic unit of life. In this topic on self, I will be covering three things. Firstly, label the parts of the plant and animal cell. Secondly, state the functions of each part of the cell. And finally, state the similarities and differences of different types of cells. Let's begin our revision. Let's label the parts of a cell. In the diagram of the plant cell, the outer line represents the cell wall. The inner line is the cell membrane. Within the cell membrane lies the cytoplasm. The chloroplast and the nucleus are found in the cytoplasm. Now, let's move on to label the animal cell. In the animal cell, there are no cell wall and chloroplast, only the cell membrane, cytoplasm and nucleus are present. Now, let's look at the functions of each part of the cell. The nucleus controls all activities in the cell. The word control is important. You should not use the word allow, but controls. So remember, the nucleus controls all activities in the cell. It also contains the genetic information that is passed on from parent to young. If you do not want to use the word genetic, you can also use the word hereditary. Next, the cell membrane controls the movement of substances in and out of a cell. Again, I'm using the word control the movement. Not allows the movement, but controls the movement of substances in and out of the cell. Next, the cell wall gives the cell a fixed or regular shape. The cytoplasm allows cell activities to take place in it. The chloroplast contains chlorophyll and it allows photosynthesis to take place in it. Let us now compare the similarities and differences of different types of cells. Here we are looking at the leaf and the root cells that are plant cells and the cheek cell that is the animal cell. All plant and animal cells have three common parts, the nucleus, cytoplasm and cell membrane. What are the differences between plant and animal cells? Well, all plant cells, whether it is the leaf cell or the root cell, they all have cell wall. However, Animal cells do not have cell wall. Not all plant cells have chloroplasts. Leaf cells have chloroplasts, but root cells do not have chloroplasts. Animal cells also do not have chloroplasts. Why doesn't the root cell have chloroplasts? Well, the roots are found underground. They do not receive sunlight. So there is no point in having chloroplasts in root cells if they do not receive sunlight. 